Hey everyone, welcome to another Nature Man Adventures. And as you can see, we are back at the pond with some gunshots off in the distance. Okay, anyways, we are at this beautiful location here as you can see at the pond. The water has receded so we have some beach area that we can walk on and explore a little bit. I'm gonna find a place where we can sit, relax, and uh, we're gonna cook up some food. I have that new table from that camping trip I wanna go over with you, plus the chair that I've been using for a while, which is an awesome chair. But let's go take a walk along the shoreline here, see what we can see, find a spot where we can sit, and cook up some good food and have a great time. All right, let's get going, folks. All right, folks, it's a little windy over here on this side. So I think what we're going to do is head over straight on ahead where those trees are and maybe find a spot over there for some coverage. But I want to show you this nice piece of tree that is just driftwood now, basically, here along the shoreline. Gorgeous day. And we have these beautiful fall colors and hopefully you'll be able to see this on camera. I mean, look at those beautiful reds. Let's see here. I have the camera in such a way that it's kind of dim for me, but hopefully that shows up for you folks that you can see that. I think you can. Isn't that gorgeous? Those reds, reds, reds. So colors are starting to pop, but it is definitely windy. So you're probably having a hard time hearing me. That's why I'm talking a little bit louder. But yeah, check this out. Absolutely beautiful. All right, let's go find some coverage. A little less windy. And let's get ourselves going. All right, folks, we are back in the tree line here. And it might be exposed going a little bit further, but I just want to show you these incredible views from up here. You just can't beat it, folks. That's why I love coming here because, honestly, it's one of the best places I've ever discovered. And like I've said before, it's close to home. So, not too bad. I mean, you just can't read the views. Oh my gosh. Look at this, folks. I know, I've been here like a gazillion times. I don't know. Let's see. I can either go here or we can keep going along this pathway. And I think I'm going to do that is go back to another spot which is a little bit higher up. Protected from the winds. So we can set up our gear. Actually, I could have parked right over here and it would have brought us to this spot. But it really doesn't matter. We're here. That's all that matters. It's all about the views. It's all about getting out there, folks, and just enjoying nature. Enjoying every moment of life. All right. If you follow me, you know this is one of my familiar spots. But I want to get out of the wind, like I said. So we're just going to... I think that's what I'm going to do. I was going to just walk this way. And I'm going to set up on top of this hill where the trees are at. And hopefully those shots being fired don't bother you folks. All right, I think. Uh, let's see here. Where's my path? Uh, yeah. Yeah, right over here. It's a pathway. Going up, 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 up. If we go back down this way, it will lead to where there's a parking lot. But... I'm just going to go up this way, folks. It's up on the hill. Sheltered from the, the winds. And I've been here before. Set up my tarp, hammock, all that good stuff. So, let us get over here. Hopefully it won't be too windy up here. I'm hoping. 
it is we're in trouble <laughs> all right all right folks a little breezy up here a little breezy Alright folks, so I have the tarp set up and I'm just going to quickly go over how I set this up for you. So if you want to do this in your neck of the woods, you can give it a try. Very simple setup using one ridge line from one tree to another and just attach a toggle to the loop with a presset knot here so I can stretch it out and keep it in place. And it's tight enough. I don't need it to be crazy, crazy tight or anything like that. It's not raining. It's a beautiful day. So I'm not looking to have it tight and you really don't want it overly tight because that's when you can do damage to it and then it's staked to the ground using these plastic ABS stakes in a line that I've looped together so it's one line and as you can see I've just created a knot on the bottom there and I slipped it through the other end so this gives me the flexibility that I can run it all the way straight down like this or at any point in time I can just twist and create a loop and then stake it to that loop so I can have that adjustability and that loop is a slip knot so it goes in tightens it down and when I'm done I can loosen it up and we're good to go in the center I have my stick raising this up just a little bit as you can see and I did create a notch in the stick so that my guy line can stay firm in here and not go anywhere and just a simple slip knot again right here all the way down and these have these uh, fasteners here and I do like these for this purpose not for every application and then a simple stake metal stake here into the ground and it's caught in the little edge there so it's not going to go anywhere and it's plenty tight it's plenty of what I need for today it's not heavy winds heavy rain or anything like that it's a beautiful sunny day I mean it's cool it's definitely fall temperatures but yeah, and you're going to hear some noise because I am right next to this road, so I do apologize for that. But this is the best place for me right now. It's open, it's breezy, but not too bad. And honestly, folks, you just can't beat it. You're still here in the woods, still in nature. All right, let's stop talking and let's get that chair and table set up so we can have something to eat. All right, folks, so let's talk about the chair for a minute here. Now, in my previous adventure, I mentioned this was the Nature Hike Y-08. Actually, that's the next model up. This is the Dash-05. So, if you're looking for this chair, it's the Dash-05 model. One of the reasons why I like this chair so much is because it is very comfortable to sit in. You have this nice cloth material with the mesh on the sides, so there's breathability there. But also, what I like about it is the way it's designed. So, the feet. A lot of these chairs have just the bottom like this, but they don't have that rubber, I don't know, like flatness. I don't know what you want to call it. But a way, so it, the anti-sink feet. That's what I'm looking for. It doesn't have that anti-sink feature. So when you stick it into the ground, you put that force in, it's just gonna sink all the way in. With this chair, it doesn't do that. Yes. In soft soil and sand it's going to sink a little bit but once it reaches the point where the anti-sink feature kicks in that's it you're good to go so you can sit in it comfortably and not be afraid that it's going to keep burrowing into the ground and I love that the other feature that I like about it is all four corners are reinforced with this rubber but on the bottom corner of the fabric you have this loop and so it makes it a lot easier to take it on and off. So, for example, you can take it off by doing that. Or I can just pull this. And as you can see, you're going to have to put a lot of tension on these. But look at how easy that is to slide on. And it's so simple, folks. I love that. My prior chair, I couldn't do that. And the other thing I like about it is how comfortable, how comfortable it is. I mean, I'm sitting back here. And it has a little bit of play as far as when you lean back. But it's not that crazy. So I love that feature about this chair. And then the other thing is, you know, you can you can lean forward and you have full support for your glutes. Okay. Ah, there you go, folks, your glutes. You have full support. You can sit up like this. You still have that support you need. And when you want to kick back, relax, and lounge like I do sometimes, as you've seen. Yeah, I love it. And as you can see, folks, it's it's pretty solid. 
It really is. Yeah, I'm moving back and forth. I'm not gonna go too crazy. I'm, I don't wanna break the chair. But there's some play there if I'm moving like this or if I'm moving into reach. It's not really gonna go anywhere. It's not tipping over that much. You still gotta be careful, be aware of what you're doing. But it's not as bad as the previous chair I had. So I highly recommend checking this one out. I have a link in the description below for you to check that one out. Next thing we're gonna do, talk about the table. So we get kind of an overview of both pieces of gear I've been using in this video. And then we're gonna set up the table and then we're gonna use it to cook on. But I'm gonna get it set up and talk about this one. All right, folks, this is a Trekology table. I'll have the information about it down below as always. But it is a really nice table, very easy to set up for the most part. Only two parts needed, the actual table and the legs. So the way it opens up is like most of these, you've got the feet on the bottom here that are rubberized, and then you have the top here. And this just basically folds open. And this goes into place like here in this slot. And this one lifts up into this slot. And that's pretty much the height. That's how easy it is to get the leg support going. And then this is an accordion style like this for the tabletop. Now what I like to do is kind of lay it on the ground at first. And they have these grooves here. So on here you've got the grooves. You're just going to line up the grooves for both. Make sure that stays in there. Uh, you know, I'm the nature man, so things will not always go according to plan. That's all right. So you're going to take this and you're just going to line these up with the grooves. Kind of groovy, right? Get lined up. Get lined up. And it will just snap into place. Snap. 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 And up here and there you go folks and get it all dirty before you use it but it's that simple now the thing is if you notice if I'm lifting it from the center like this it is going to lift up so I try to lift it up from the sides here so that way it doesn't do that but once it's set up again with my chair perfect height and what I do is the surface is textured but it is smooth so things can slip a little bit on there so for now what I do is take a towel one of my towels put it on top add a little friction and then it's really not going anywhere but as you can see without that falling down it's gonna be solid I mean it's, it's a table right so it's not too bad uh, make sure it's you know level and once it's level you get to go now all right folks <laughs> I'm getting hungry so let me get myself situated so I can cook up some food and show you how the table works with the gear on it for cooking and we'll go from there all right folks uh, you can see the table is all set up now and I have a lot of stuff on here just to show you how much room there actually is obviously I'm not going to be using all of this space but I just wanted to show you what I have on here. So I have my actual cook kit that I use when I go out, which is the alcohol stove with my cup and all the, the goodies inside of this package here. My bottle of water, my sparkling water, and then the stove and the, the, can of, the fuel canister and then my stove and then the Stanley frying pan as well as my spoon so all of that stuff you can sit see fit right on the top of this table but what we're going to do now is I'm actually going to take this off for a minute and put this on the ground for now I know I know you're probably saying but why are you putting it on the ground because I want to show you how this is going to set up so like I said I'm going to have the stove going on here and there's plenty of room Again, it's a beautiful day, folks. Glad I could bring you out for this adventure today. Cooking up some food, showing you some of this new gear. And a little more detail, you know? We'll get that going on here. And 
I'm opting not to go with the alcohol today because I want to do something quick. So we'll get this on here. All right. And then what I like to do is just put all of the other stuff back inside the pocket here of this pouch. Set that to the side. And when it's not in use, I always put it to the side. Now, we are going to open up. Just spread the feet like that. And then afterwards, I'll have to pull out my... You got it in there. <laughs> I was going to say, did I bring my lighter with me? Yeah, I've got it inside, inside of my cook kit here. And then for what we're having today is we're having some tortilla wraps. I've got my rice with the marinara sauce and Italian seasoning with my sausages already ready to go. And all we're going to do is just frying them up on the frying pan on the low heat, get them toasted, get them warm and delicious. And inside of here, go ahead and just side for a minute. I'll show you what I have inside of here. So this is the Stanley frying pan. And I don't know if I've gone over this with you folks in the past, but anyways, no, this does not come with it. This is my cup. As you know, making my coffee. This was gifted to me from Marlo from Explore With Me, Marlo C. Thank you so much. Come in handy all the time when I make coffee. It does come with a cutting board and two plates and a spatula. Now what I have in here today is some of my snacks. because They just fit in there. I do have this which you can use as a rubber piece to keep this in place as well kind of like a pot holder if you will and then I have my spatula that it comes with and this is goes on like that so I can go like that and I do have one of the two plates that come with this and this is the frying pan and it works great folks it really does so let me put this to the side as well until I'm ready to use it and make sure that is locked in place that's not going to go anywhere and actually I don't know let's see I'm going to put this to the side for now as well because I should be good to go just like that just like that all right let's get this going and uh fry up some of this tortillas all right folks Let's get cooking because I'm getting hungry. Ooh, should we use our. Nah. That's why we have our lighter here. I'm just going to simply go with that for today. Put that to the side. And make sure we have everything good to go. Open that up and we can do just one at a time and go from there. Okay, we got our spatula. Yeah, we'll put it like that. All right, and I should have brought oil with me, but I didn't bring oil. I should be fine without it. Yeah, uh, we'll see. We don't need high high heat. Let's get that away from the flame. We don't want that to bust. And I hope that this doesn't stick. I hope it doesn't stick folks. We're gonna find out. If it sticks, we're in trouble. But anyways, we're out here having a great time. That's all that matters. So yeah, we got the tortilla ready to go. I should have brought some oil. don't think no I didn't bring oil with me today that would have been a better option all right so what we're gonna do is start from the top here kind of warm it up a little bit from the top It ain't going to take long to heat these up, folks. Not going to take long at all. The beauty of the table is you've got plenty of room. 
I just don't want this to stick. Don't want it to stick. Low heat, that's the key. Stainless steel so it shredded. Oh, that's hot. Oh, that's hot. Okay, I think I'll be fine, as you can see. <laughs> All right. I'm going to finish cooking these up, and then I'll enjoy. All right, folks, let's crack open this bubbly here. We've got our blood orange flavored. Cheers, my friends. Oh, that's good. Put that right on the table. I'm just gonna move that. Now, word to the wise, folks. Make sure that when that pan is hot, you don't have this directly on there because it did scorch this and removed a little bit of plastic. So, uh, definitely need to get some wooden gear uh, utensils so anyways it did scorch that a little bit but didn't do anything to this but look at this folks oh yeah nice and crispy Whew, it's a little hot all right we got three of them made up here we go folks bon appetit Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. 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 You know that company that makes these? Eat your heart out. Oh, man. Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. All right, I'm gonna finish eating these and let me got, let you let you guys mm, can't even talk. Let you guys enjoy some of the beauty around here. All right, folks, as you can see, I've cleaned up the work area from the cooking side. Just put everything on top that I have, so it's in plain sight, plain view. And I've just been out here relaxing, just enjoying the beautiful weather today. It's been slightly cool with the breeze, so I've got the extra jacket on. Just been doing some things on the phone, catching up on some, some, some reading and whatnot. And thinking about... You know, the, this past weekend with that hurricane that hit through Florida. Wow. You know, it's... it's. I will say this. I am a man of faith. And I was praying for protection. Not only for all of Florida, but the ones that I love. My family and friends. And... I will say this, they were answers to prayer. It could have been worse, much worse. And I know a lot of areas have been hit pretty hard. But that storm went from a category five to a four to a three. And when it was leaving, it was a category one. You know, it, it did cause damage. I'm not gonna say it didn't, but <sighs> I'm just grateful. I really am, folks. So, with that being said, folks, I'm just going to continue to relax out here for just a little bit longer and, and enjoy this beautiful day and count my blessings. And I hope you do too, folks, because we are truly blessed. No matter what goes on in this world, no matter all the bad stuff that happens, <laughs> we are still blessed. So keep that in mind. All right, folks. I'm going to finish drinking some of this water. Stay hydrated. 
and enjoy every moment of life. All right, folks, I'll see you very soon. Catch you on the next adventure. And remember, get dirty with nature and enjoy every moment of life. I'll see you soon.